Greetings, gun enthusiasts. Uh, the Pro Crown has kind of been acting up today. So I have given it a little bit of a timeout, put it in the shade, given it a chance to think about how naughty it's being. And I've loaded up my six round test again of the Underwood loaded XTPs and Underwood loaded, uh, realistically, Gold Dot bonded jacketed hollow points and we're gonna give it another chance to redeem itself and i apologize if the uh if the screen is a little dark now because of what i had to do but we'll give it a try 862 915, that's better. 871. 903. 863. 909. All right, what do we get for an average? <clears throat> Six shots, 887 feet per second average. Oh. <sighs> You know, a part of me says it's it's um, it's time to retire that battery at least because <laughs> that cannot be these are the two rounds in question. This is the Underwood loaded 90 grain XTP and bonded jacketed hollow points. And they're rated for 1,025 feet per second, which is similar to the rating that the factory gives these two loads. <laughs> but the actual performance out of the short barrel Ruger <laughs> is actually really similar to what you get with the factory loads, Gold Dot and Hornady create for these two projectiles. If that's literally all I'm gonna get from Underwood, then I mean, why bother paying the shipping? Because if Underwood's literally just gonna load them to the same pressures as uh, Hornady and Spear, then what is the point of ordering from Underwood? I've, I've gotten used to Underwood really, really hot loading their 38 special rounds, but I guess it doesn't work the same way for the uh, 380. All right. Thanks, folks. Geography Czar out.